Now what do we have here, man? See, this dude is the reason why you do not put illegal substances in your body, especially when you're in a relationship. Now, I believe it's like 80 something percent of people who are addicted to, um, you know what I'm saying, are in abusive relationships, bro. And if you can't handle what you put in your body, bro, don't do it. Now, me personally, I have a lot of um, offenses, but they're all non-violent, and I'm pretty proud of that, bro, because I've been in a lot of situations where, um, I don't even want to put all that there, but anyway, let's see what this, let's see what this crackhead did. Now, we got in 2003, bro, he got driving under the influence. Now, this particular charge means that it was like, it could have been anything, it could have been weed, it could have been that, yeah, yo. Nine times out of ten, I don't know. I was gonna say something, I don't wanna put that on OG, but that was in St. Clair, man. That's that East St. Louis. I've been in East St. Louis before. It's not that big. Now, this dude got an unlawful restraint, man. You like to get high and hold your girl down when she's getting in an argument with you. Uh, no, man, just walk away. Now, you got a domestic battery with physical contact, his second one. I know it's the second one because the first one, they it's a misdemeanor. They usually give you up to three before it's a felony, but no, nah, not him. Not this dude. Now he got another DUI. I'm just calling it a DUI, but it wasn't alcohol. It was something else. I don't know how they proved that. I know that, but it is what it is. He got two years for that. Now he got another one. I don't know how that works. He got two years for that. I don't know if they could. They gave him a test and they proved that he was on multiple substances, but it is what it is. Uh, they actually charged him with his revoked and suspended license, which is an additional felony, uh, but it's usually just one charge. Then this dude got out and did what? Mm -hmm. The same exact thing. Uh, this is just a bad situation, man, because the thing about it is East St. Louis is not big, uh, and they're not really supposed to pull you over if they know uh, that you have a suspended license recognizing you by face. That's actually against the law, but they probably didn't have to do that. And then most recently, he went in for another domestic violence. He went in 2023. He's supposed to get out in four more years. Bro, just... If you're going to drink, bro, or do whatever you do, stay at the house. It's not that bad. And don't have a girlfriend until you can get your anger and your, your substance situation under control. Now, what you doing, man? Let's go to the next case. Boom, we got mm, Uncle Fester. We got Loki off the Avengers. We got... Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head in one body. Uh, we got the scream mask. Uh, face looking ass. Look, okay, look. Man, we got Samantha Clark, man. You really look like your name is Clark Sam. But we're going we gonna to stick with the name that you gave us. Uh, that you gave us, uh, ma'am, ma sir, uh, whatever the case may be. We got this dude face looking as biatch, and she is, oh, she's a big piggy, man. She's 5'7 and 397 pounds. She was born 11-19, 1992. Mm, mm, mm. That explains the hairdo. And she's definitely uh, into the blacks, definitely. She got two pierced ears on her right shoulder. Nah, I'm just on the right side. Uh, her nose on the right side. She got a left eye tattoo. See, these are thotty piercings, bro. She got a tattoo under her lip and a tattoo on her navel. Thotty tattoo. She got a tattoo that says memories on her wrist. Ah, I don't know. She just got so high. She just thought that was a good idea because she couldn't remember stuff. So she was like, you know, I'm going to just get memories tattooed on me so I can remember to remember stuff. Good idea. Good idea, sir. And then she got a crown with Anthony. Now, Anthony is definitely a black man. I don't know if that's her 
husband, her boyfriend, or her son, but Anthony is suffering right now because we keep on going to jail. Now, we got a heart with family on it on her forearm, thotty tattoo. That's dumb. And then she got Zach mm, on her right shoulder with a heart and a rose. You got to stop getting niggas tatted on you, baby, because that's not keeping you out of prison. Now, she went in 2-21-2024. She got parole 7-3. 2024 and her projected discharge date is 7 3 2025 so you got a little bit you got a, another year left man now let's go to all these charges against the state against our country oh look at the winnebago now winnebago county that's aurora illinois we already googled that you got a residential burglary burglary she got four years for that Psh. They gave her parole at some point. Her dumbass got out and was stealing again. These are symptoms of somebody who is a dope fiend. Okay, she got two charges of theft. Uh, I guess displacement of merchandise. More than 300 wait, less than $300. I don't know how you get two counts of that. But she got two counts of that, man. She got two separate charges for that. Uh, she got possession of a controlled substance. That's pretty obvious. That's what she's into. In Boone County, she got sentenced to four years. And then I, I don't know if uh, she was on parole and they caught her with, they caught her with that pack two days later. As soon as she touched down, because like I said in the other video, in Illinois, when you are on parole, they don't take you to county. They don't process you to county. They put you back straight to. They drive you straight to prison. Is what I heard. And then this uh, junkie got possession and uh, receiving a stolen vehicle. She got three years for that. Yeah, yeah. You need to go to. You need to get some help, sweet, sweet man. You need to get some. You got. You need to get some help, bro, bro. Okay, and we got this crazy. Look at this graffiti wall, face, neck, body, head, ass dude. I don't think he's from Chicago, and he looks like he has a husky voice. But them dudes that look like they have husky, raspy voices, a lot of times they have high-pitched, nasally voices. Now, this nigga's crazy, man. Obviously, a Twister fan. He got victory or death tattooed on his face, man. That is a cold song, but I wouldn't go so far as to tattoo a song on my face. He got a dove, man. It, this is obviously a cover-up. It was a cross, but he was like, nah, I'm a spiritual man now. He got his sixth eye, not his one, two, three, four, five. He got the sixth eye. Sat in on him. 720. He got revenge. This nigga's crazy. And a cigarette. You got a cigarette? Tattooed on your face, man. On your head. That's even worse. He got a scorpion tattooed on him. He got he got all kind of stuff tattooed on him, man. I don't think he, like I said, because OG is like 57. This is like a California thing. And for you to be a black man getting face tattoos like this, you obviously have mental health issues, number one. And the fact that this was not even a part of the culture at the time. You got to be crazy. Now, he got, if you look real close at the bottom, he got his boyfriend tattooed on his neck, man. Jasmine. He got a little cookie. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yep. He got a, he got ask, ask about me. I'm a hustler, homie. He got a, I don't know if that's a squid. Or if that's supposed to be a shiesty, I mean a, a ski mask tattooed on him. He he attempted to get some Japanese stuff tattooed on his face, but he realized that that actually means Egyptian lover. So he got that tried to get it covered up with BMG, big money gangster. Yeah. Now he's an absconder, man. This dude's been going to prison since prison, been prisoning, man. He got a tattoo on his right forearm with a cross that says R.I.P. Grand Grand, Granny Grand, R.I.P. Granny Grand, man. And uh, he got a shoulder tattoo on his right shoulder, LMF, love my felons. Yeah, 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 I love my felonies. You got, you, I know you love your felony. You got to tat it all on your face. Now, uh, he got a six-pointed son, folks, tattooed on his upper uh, arm. He got fork wild pole baby moon. I guess that's the fallen homies, but let's go to these egregious charges that you're running from sir okay in 1999 let me take you back way back he got an aggravated assault with a firearm on a volunteer what on a volunteer 
Man, bro, don't tell me you was shooting at some Girl Scouts, bro. Come on now. Come on, OG. We got to do better. Now, he got a felon in possession of a firearm. Mm, three years for that. Mm. He did good for a minute, man. He did, Oh, no. Nah, he maxed out, bro. He went back in the same Disney, man, the same day. He got four years for another felon in possession of a firearm. And then um, the big one. He got an aggravated battery. Discharge of a firearm. 12 years. Now, the cold thing about it is, OG... If you would have turned yourself in, which I totally understand why at the age of 30-something, you didn't want to go to prison possibly for up to 12 years. But you would have been out by now, bro. With all these face tattoos, I have to assume that he went to a different country because you can't just be walking around with all these face tattoos and nobody turns you in. Because people know, a lot of people like to be in people's business and they know your parole and they know your parole officer and they know that you're supposed, ain't you supposed to be in jail? Ain't you supposed to be at the parole officer? Nah, they, yeah. But, man, free that man, man. You're going to get locked up one day if you don't die first. But it is what it is. It's not what it's not.